Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to our vanilla adventure. Now today I'm gonna go around get all the materials I need to finish up our house. That's my goal. That's my aim. I've got a bed so I can sleep through the night. That's gonna be a pretty good uh, good way to deal with the night and monsters. I've also got, let's see, a, an iron axe, uh, a shovel. I've got a, a stone pickaxe and an iron pickaxe. I'll need to make some room in my pack. Okay, so I definitely need another chest because this one's getting way too full. Uh, I should have some planks though around. Uh, do I have any spare? There's oak wood. Oh, there we go. 56 birch planks. Plenty to make a couple more chests. So. I think overall we'll probably need two more big chests. Just to store all of our stuff. So that's four regular chests. And now let's plonk them down. Now, at the moment, our chests are, like, super disorganized. But don't worry, we'll come back uh, eventually and kind of sort them out a bit, put the, th the right things in the right places. Now, one of you guys said, and I love reading the comments section for this series, both on Twitter and in YouTube, uh, but one of you guys says you can actually ride a boat across land. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, that is amazing. <laughs> wow. All right, cool. Awesome. Well, that's what you can do. Uh, fan wait, hang on. Whoa, whoa, hang on a sec. Did I? Have I? Oh no, this is bad. Guys, look. Hang on a sec. Let me just get rid of this. There we go. Look, there's a purple sheep on the loose. How did he get free? Now, was he a sheep from in here? Or was he just a natural sheep out in the world? I don't know how he got free. Oh, man, but well, maybe we don't need him. Maybe we don't need that purple sheep, but this is a bit of a worry. Let me look at the uh, look at the pen again. Yeah, you see, it doesn't look like there's any way for the sheep to escape because walls are too big to jump over. So what's the deal? I didn't leave a gate open. Uh, who knows? It's a mystery, but uh, he's out now. Right, so what we're going to do is I've got my bed to sleep in. I'll put the boat back in the, in the chest because I'm not going to ride that over land. I'm going to go and gather the stone and the wood that I need to complete the build. So let's go. Oh, one thing though, actually, I'm also going to need some sand because I need some glass for the windows. So let's just run along the coast until we find a nice place to take sand from that won't look too ugly. Because one of the problems is when you kind of... Oh, it looks really weird actually having that shield there. So I'm just going to de-equip it for a minute and not wear it. One of the things you have to worry about when you're digging sand is that if you uh, if you kind of just don't be careful, you can dig sand out of the world and the world can be looking... And you can leave the world looking really ugly without sand. It can look really patchy and lame. And kind of, we're trying to complete the game, but we also want to have like a pretty cool world that we can look after and that looks pretty good. So the last thing I want to do is dig out all the sand and make this place look all janky. Okay. Nice little bit of sand there. Now it's one block of sand for every piece of glass. So I might need a bit more. Yeah, I reckon like two stacks would be ideal. So let's go and get some from over here. Now I looked into why uh, when I went to look for... Oh, that water's a bit wrong, isn't it? I looked into why when I went to get a village, when I looked for the village and for the crops, the village wasn't there. Oh man, it looks so good with shaders. Just the flowers, the light, the shadows, the sunbeams, the blur. But yeah, I looked into why there wasn't uh, a village there. And apparently um, the guy that said where all the things were was using a different version of Minecraft. Which is why I guess every different version has a different way for things to spawn. So you can only be playing in my seed at the moment if you're playing in Minecraft 1.9. If you're using a different version of Minecraft and you use the same seed that I'm in, you won't be in the same world. I think it might look the same in terms of like the hills and stuff, but the villages and the strongholds uh, and the igloos and stuff won't be in the same place, I don't think. All right, it's a nice little wadge of sand. Uh, two and a bit stacks, should be plenty that I need to make the glass. Now I'm gonna dig up all the wood that I need. And we're going to dig up both the, the birch and the oak, because both of them come in handy. 
it's nice to have a lighter shade of wood. All right, I'm also going to grab up some oak leaves because they make really great hedges. And they're super quick to gather with a set of shears. Awesome, but it's getting late, so I'm going to put down a bed and call it a night. And then I think I've probably got enough wood now, where well, maybe a bit more. But pretty soon I can start getting the cobblestone that I need. Because I need a lot of cobblestone, and I'm going to need a lot of stone brick as well. Oh, okay. A great night of sleep. Grab up my bed. And let's get back to let's get back to tree chopping. Now I'm, I'm gonna go until my axe breaks, and it's getting real close right now. So shouldn't be long. Oh, there you go, K clunk. Looks like my axe has bit the dust. And I reckon I've probably got enough uh, enough wood to certainly get me started. It's gonna be the roof that takes up most of the wood, because you have to make all of those wooden steps. Um, and the framework's going to be made out of logs as well, so that's going to take up a few. But uh, let's just grab a bunch of saplings on the way back as well, because these might come in handy. I love oak. Uh, it's my favourite kind of tree in Minecraft. And so I want to kind of surround my house when we're done with a nice big fence, some hedges, and like a forest around the edge. Rather than just flat plains. Once I've got all of my farmland, that is, I want to make sure I've got enough room to grow up all my, all my animals but also to have all the crops that I want to keep as well. Man, it's kind of funny. We have a door, but we just don't use it because while the windows are open, we just fly through those. Uh, and why not? It makes much more sense, you know? Okay, I'm going to get the steaks out of there. I'm going to start cooking up some sand into glass. Let's see if I've got any coal lying around. There's one. Wait, was that coal in there or char? That's charcoal, right? I see. Let's replace that with coal. It's much more robust. And there's a bit more. Now, also, let's cook up some of the iron that we've got. We've got some stone in there, so we can make some more stone brick. But let's see where the iron ore is. We must have gathered a bit more. There's none in this chest that I see. Oh, no, there it is. So what about in here? No. All right, let's throw that in the bottom and fire up the furnace one more time. Now, what I'm going to do is, with the iron bars that I've got, have I got any iron bars? There we go, there's, there's two ingots. I'll grab a third. Grab a pick. Oh, wow, what's this? I think I've already done that. Uh, make some sticks. And then what I can do is make, a, make an iron pickaxe and then go down into the mines to gather up all the stone that I'm going to need to finish up my building. It's not going to be too much though, so it shouldn't, have, shouldn't take me too long. But let's just drop off this stuff before I go down in there. And here we go, an iron pickaxe. It's, you know, it's, it's not quite very efficient to use an iron pickaxe to get stone, but um, they're a lot quicker than the stone pickaxes to dig materials, so it'll, it'll take me a lot, a lot less time to, to get what I need. Again! How is this purple sheep just smuggled his way down into here. He gets around, this guy. He's a real traveler. Oh, and he wants out. He wants to get out of the mine. I can't blame him. See you later, pal. We're going deep, deep down to get some more stone. Now, we might as well go all the way down the bottom. Oh, man, I love how good it looks underground with the torches and the lighting. It's just such a well-lit, cool-looking area. We're going deep, deep down, right to the bottom level, because there's cobblestone down here, but also... We run the risk, not really the risk, but there's a chance of finding down here, diamond. It's very dark though. Oh man. Right, my stone pickaxe is broke, so now it's time to crack out the iron. Oh, and look at this, coal. Coal's something you use a lot more when you're not using mods, because most mods have ways for you to turn wind into power, and then you can use that wind to heat furnaces. But in Minecraft, Vanilla, all you've got is coal and wood to power your furnaces, so you've got to make sure you grab up all the coal that you can find. Uh-oh, sounds like zombies. And what else is that? There's a weird sound. It keeps sounding like someone farting. Oh man, now if I'm not careful, I could easily get lost down here. So I'm going to dig out this like bottom area so it's easy to see 
It's the bottom area. There we go. It's much easier to see this entrance now. So we shouldn't get too lost. Now I'm sitting at about... Oh, let's see. I've got three stacks now. Three and a half stacks. So I reckon just a couple more stacks. And I should have enough brick to finish up my house. Got to be careful though, because this pink stuff is useless. It's granite, and it kind of, it, honestly, in this texture pack, it looks really ugly. There's nothing I can really use it for. So I'm just going to ignore it where I can, and hope I see it before it gets too dark. Do you hear that? I hear lava bubbling. I'm definitely digging towards wherever this lava and water is coming from. So this could open up any second into a big cavern. So brace yourself. Oh, there it is! Oh, nice. Look at this. There's going to be loads and loads of booty down here. But I'll have to be very, very careful. One tip, though, that I've been given is that on a mushroom biome, monsters don't spawn. Apparently. It's just cows. So that sounds like a pretty, a pretty cool place to hang out. Oh, God! I just realized I don't have a sword. Why did I come down here without a sword? Oh my god, I haven't got the wood to make a weapon. I've got a pickaxe. Maybe that maybe that'll work. Ooh. Oh, he's in he's in the lava. Whew. Oh man, that was close. Gotta make sure that doesn't happen again. Oh, look how bright the lava is though in these shaders. It's like blindingly bright. I'm gonna brick up some of this water. And see if I can see any better. There we go. Did that work? I honestly can't see. Oh, no. Ooh. Need one more brick over there. Yeah, look, it's all dried up. So if I had like a diamond pickaxe now, I can get the obsidian I need to get to the nether. So that's uh, that's one thing I could do. Oh man, this is so bright. I wish I could just turn the shaders off for at certain parts. Like when I go under... Oh God. Oh no. Oh, we just shot that creeper. Oh! Okay, I'm getting out of here. Getting the hell out of dodge. Whew. I reckon I might have enough... Uh, I might have enough cobblestone anyway now. So I'm going to go upstairs and... Uh, and fix up my house. Oh, what's this? Now, this is slightly discolored. I think this might be a gold vein. Remember the truth. Wait. Yeah, there we go. Gold ore. Sweet. Perfect. I had, I had no idea what it looks like in this texture pack. But now I do. I'll keep my eyes peeled for this special stuff. There's not much use for gold, to be honest, in vanilla Minecraft. You can use it to make powered rails and uh, a compass or a clock, I think. But other than that, you know, there's not really much you can do with it. It's a bit of a shame because it's super valuable, super rare material in real life. So, yeah, I don't know. But now we know what it looks like. We can keep our eyes peeled along the walls and uh, have a better idea for when we see it. But yeah, I haven't seen any so far. I bet there's a ton down in this ravine, but it's too dangerous to go down there. And there's so much lava, we're just so blinded by it. I need a lot more torches if I'm going to come down here and make a serious effort of trying to find gold. Okay, let's get back up, up to the top and, uh, and make our house. Uh-oh, uh it's raining. And it's also night time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw down my bed and just have a quick sleep down here to get rid of both the rain and the dark. Nice, okay. Now prepare to defend ourselves, because it sounds like... Oh no, it sounds like there's a few monsters upstairs. Where are they? Where is it? Oh, oh! Oh my god, it's a baby zombie. Why am I on fire? Oh right, because the baby zombie's on fire now. Baby zombies are ridiculously hard to hit, so... Oh my god, there's loads of them. Why are they not burning? 
Oh, nice. There's a, a whole bunch of bones and arrows, though, around where I guess all of the skeletons incinerated themselves. Oh, they're still chasing me. This is pretty... Maybe I can get them exploded by the creeper. Yeah, I think I can. I think I can. Yes! Don't know how much damage it did. Oh my god. If I get killed by baby zombies, this is going to be the worst ending to a hardcore series ever. But don't worry, I've got an ace up my sleeve. There we go. Try and catch me now, mother truckers. Now I am stuck on the roof. Uh, and I'm going to need to get some weaponry. I'm going to need to get a bow. Because I've got like four arrows now. But also I need to get a sword as well. I've, I've probably got enough glass now to glass up the house. Oh god. Maybe I can kill them with the iron pickaxe. Maybe. Man, Minecraft combat used to be so much more easier. Okay, let's give him a let's give him a hit. Here we go. He's run off. Oh god. Why is it so hard to hit them? And why does it do no damage at all? Why is it shooting the, the, the grass and not the zombies? Why have they got so much health? They're babies! And they're so quick. Okay, we took them out. Man, that was scarier than it should have been. Those things are real pieces of work. Alright. Well, it looks like the wheat's coming up. Uh, there's a creeper over here. Now I'm gonna go and just... I'm just gonna make the creeper explode. Because the last thing we want is the creeper to kind of explode without us expecting it. Like, it's kind of like a controlled detonation, I suppose, is what we just did to him. And let's just patch up this grass. Okay, not quite enough. Finish the job, so let's just dig up some more. Oh, there goes the shovel. Hope that was enough. Yeah, it should be. Right, there we go. So let's get let's get all our stuff ready to start building our house. There goes one stack of cobblestone. And we'll put, I think, eight coal. Should be enough. And uh, grab the iron out of here. And another stack of cobblestone. And eight coal again. And that should give us 64 stone brick. Now let's turn these glass blocks into glass panes, panes of glass, because you get so much more out of them that way. And start filling up some of these windows so we have an actual safe place inside against zombies and, uh, and anything else that comes and attacks. Oh no, actually, hang on a sec. Let's have a look because I think we can actually make um, stained glass because we've got a whole bunch of dye in here. Let's use magenta dye. Why not? Or oh, no, no, red dye, because I've got loads of red, to make some red windows. There you go. Red stained glass. Nice. And we've got loads and loads of sand, so we shouldn't really need to worry about wasting this stuff. Yeah, and there you go. Red stained glass panes. Nice. I think I'm going to make some more uh, furnaces, actually, because I need more than just two. Yeah, let's go and make four, because these will come in handy later on. And I'll put them right over here. And I think one there as well. When that top furnace is finished, uh, when this top furnace is finished as well, I'm going to smash this and put it somewhere a bit neater so it isn't blocking the window, because it looks a bit ugly now, doesn't it? Right, I'll leave those to cook, and while they're cooking, I'm going to make that sword. Oh man, I really needed that sword that I should have had while I was down in the in the mines. There we go. An iron sword. 
All right, guys, well, thanks for watching this episode of our Hardcore Minecraft series. We've got all the stuff we need now to build the house. But next episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the stuff to cook. I'm going to leave it to kind of just turn into cobblestone, into, into stone, so I can actually get building. And while it's doing that, I'm going to go and explore another, another top tip I've had from you guys about where a village might be, because then we can get some carrots and some potatoes and, uh, and some other free loot as well. So until next time, guys, take care.